Welcome back to hardcore mode. And as you can see from the empty map, as well as the empty garage, sans the power stroke, I've sold the Scout 800 as well as the C70 because today we're going to be buying the truck I shouldn't have sold at the beginning. International Fleet Star 2070A. And now we get to go and customize everything. I don't know why it's saying free. I believe there's a slight mod conflict. Oh, yeah, I just realized that. I have a mod enabled, as you may have seen in the truck store menu and in the previous video, that enables some mods. For example, I believe I did have that the last time. Yeah, I think I found the raised suspension for the Fleet Star. Okay, so the tires are still rank mod. So some upgrades are left. Okay, that's a bit strange. But anyway, I'll run with it. We'll put the bigger tires on it for right now because I believe we're going to need them. And the winches. Yeah, those were... I'll leave them in stock for right now. That should be high enough. Now, I had unlocked the all-wheel drive for the truck the very first time, so... That'll be fine the way it is. And we're going to set this truck up the rest of the way. Ah, uh, these are add-ons from Pogrom's add-on pack. Highly recommended, by the way. So we're going to set this truck up to tow the larger five-slot trailers. Leave those be because I don't remember, again, what was and wasn't added on stock to the truck. Hmm. We'll leave that be for now, and just because I like dual stacks. Let's see. Yeah, I like those wheels. As for colors, let's see. That looks good on it. Yeah, we'll probably only. Yeah, I mean, by. Like of spades up there in the windshield so for right now that'll probably do oh that's a good chunk of change so we're back to only two trucks and this is the combo i initially wanted to start this series with the international fleet star and the f750 power stroke now the power stroke can tow the five slot trailers the semi trailers but i feel like that would be quite a cheat and quite op i'm trying to use vanilla only equipment on some of these tweak trucks or vanilla oriented mods basically nothing too overpowered despite the fact that we have a lifted f750 power stroke but anyway now that we have a semi that can actually move and has all-wheel drive we can tackle some of the bigger jobs the essentials hmm Bricks? I haven't gotten a bad idea. Okay, so we're going to have to go to Smithville Dam at some point. Okay, actually, hold on just a second. Rock slide. Do we have that? I do wish they hadn't taken away the feature where you could activate some tasks from the garage menu or the map menu. Because in terms of realism, it makes sense that you're going to be able to see something listed in your uh, available contracts and then go and take care of it and call up and say you'll take care of it instead of having to drive all the way from right here all the way down here and to the rock side task because not only do i have to go out there now find what it is or i should say activate it i then have to find out what i need when i get there but i digress so we'll jump into, oh, wait a minute. I just realized I can save a bit of money here. Because there's a flatbed semi-trailer right there loaded with materials. Okay, so we'll take the power stroke. We'll run up to the rock slide task, get it activated, and then see what we're dealing with. 
so in case you missed the previous video, I'm debating... Uh, I'm debating adding in some more tweaked vanilla trucks. Like, you probably saw it in the truck menu there, the available... I keep forgetting the name of it. Uh, the available light western star tweak, as well as the international fleet star. And these particular tweaks are not overpowered. They add a little bit of grip, extra grip to the trucks. And they do have some OP options, which we wouldn't be using in this series. But let me know what you think. And if I get enough feedback, or I should say, if I get enough positive feedback, they'll make an appearance. If not, then we'll try and stick it out with vanilla trucks. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I just spent thirty, forty thousand dollars on a truck. I better be careful. As this is my main quick vehicle. Also, I just realized I should have... Oops. I should have taken the Fleet Star, then I could have picked up that trailer. And see, if I was playing in normal mode, I would just recover this truck and go right back and get the Fleet Star. But due to the rules of this series, which is no OP mods, which I'm bending slightly with this one, it has several OP options, I'm just not using them. Uh, I can't use anything overpowered, so that's the reason you haven't seen Monstrosity appear yet. And that's the other rule, is I can't use anything that isn't console friendly, so no branded trucks unless they're allowed tweaks on consoles will be making an appearance in this series. R.I.P. Sun. Anyway, moving on. And this is again why I'm not using this particular truck to run the fifth wheel and tow around the semi-truck trailers because the base version of this truck doesn't have that option. It can still tow medium trailers and as it's my only scout I may use it to tow along scout trailers as well. Okay, here we go. What do we need for this task? Okay, rock slide problem details. Metal beams and service spare parts. Wait. Crap. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. I can pick up the service spare parts by jumping to Smithville Dam. As well as unlock the garage there. Okay. So that's what we'll do here. Except start tracking. Yeah, so we need to do that. Oh, I can pick up some things from there. Yeah, and I know there's a metal beams trailer right back here, but... I think it's going to be shorter to jump through the gate here than it will be to drive right back. Don't flip over. To drive all the way back down there. And pick up that trailer as well as all the way out to the factory and pick up the available spare parts there. Also, I can't remember, but there might be a free trailer I can use on the other side. Oh, that is not going to be fun driving a semi through here. Here we go. Wait a minute, was there? Sometimes you do get lucky and find a trailer. Nope, not here. So, into Smithville Dam we go. First time on this map in this playthrough. Also, I almost forgot, but the Western Star here on the screen now is available in Smithville Dam, so I probably should have saved some money and gone and repaired that instead of going and buying another fleet star oops but that's another thing i do plan on doing 
is running through several other maps and picking up the free trucks that you have to find to unlock. I do know where they all are from my previous playthroughs, and one of the things that I used to do in the normal mode playthrough I did back on console was pick up the free trucks and sell what I didn't need or want. In the case of the trailers, you can't do that in hardcore mode, so you can only sell the trucks. So I may do that, I may not, but uh, see how it goes. Also, if I do go and pick up those trucks, I probably won't film it and record it. Because it'll wind up taking forever. Let's see, do we have anything? Okay. Got that garage discovered. Now, one thing I remember here, and this is a pain in the neck. We have this task. Details. Yeah, it needs service spare parts. Okay, so what we're going to do here... We're going to activate this real quick. And the service spare parts are available. Oops, I should probably crack it. They're available just back up there. So we'll make two quick trips here, push over the tree. And then we'll pick up the spare parts we need and run back through to Smithville Dam. Maybe pick up a trailer. See if I can pick up a cheap one. Because I tried already, you can't sell trailers, you only have the option to destroy them. So we'll get this done real quick. Open up that road. And that's what I get for not paying attention. So, take two. Not loading platform. Truck. And take three. One of these days I'll be able to keep the controls straight. Pick this up real quick. And... What's wrong, bud? Yeah, this is going to be a recurring theme through this series. I can already see that. So we probably will pick up as soon as I decide on which version of it to get. Or I should say which one to get. We'll pick up a scout vehicle as well. A regular scout size pickup SUV. To balance out uh, the F750. Because, again, I'm trying to keep it using all vanilla here. Uh, yeah, you should be able. I have to go over that. It's thick. Okay. Oh boy. Did the task break? Okay, never mind. Problem solved. Yeah, SnowRunner does weird things sometimes. But anyway, we will be picking up a scout-sized vehicle, whether it's SUV or truck, I haven't decided just yet. But it'll balance out. We'll use this as sort of the medium-duty truck it's designed to be until around trailers, like you saw in the last episode, the four slot pod trailer. I think I almost hit that. Oops. Yeah, that little service spare parts is gonna hang out there for a while because I don't have a crane. And I know it does cost money in the game to load up the truck, get that discovered too. But at the same time, the amount of money required to load the truck is a whole lot less than buying an entire crane. Also, less time consuming. So, that's the current plan on which trucks to use. And probably once we complete this task, we'll finish off the next one in the next video. There we go. So, just like that, we're done for this video, and we'll pick up again finish off the other task. See you next time.